Hey guys, so I have a film I wanted to talk to you about today and it's the backup plan. Now when I saw the trailer for the backup plan a few weeks ago I was like, right, I have to see that. Sometimes I'll see a movie trailer and I'm like, hmm, it looks okay, I might go and see it. And then there are times where I see trailers and I'm like, right, my life will end if I do not see that film. So I finally saw the backup plan and I must say I loved it. But I do have to point out though, I, I, was, I was reading on IMDb, IMDb people's thoughts and a lot of them were really negative reviews, slating the acting, slating the directing, slating the plot. And I'm like, hang on, give this film a chance, it's actually really, really good. So basically it tells the story of Zoe who, um, who goes through artificial insemination because she's not been in love for years and she wa really wants a baby and she thinks, right, this is my last chance. And then basically the day after that she falls in love with this guy called Stan. And then she starts to go out with Stan and it gets serious but he doesn't know about the baby because she does get pregnant straight away on the first try which allegedly is generally quite rare. So she's like, do I tell him? I've got to tell him. Do I end it? And then she does tell him. And then basically the rest of the film is does he stick around? Does he take on the kids when she has them as, as his own? And, and things like that. And it is such so lovely. It's not your typical rom-com because normally you've got boy meets girl girl meets boy, they fall in love, they get together. Basically, that's normally what happens. But this is different because they basically fall in love and get together from the beginning and then you find out if, they, if they'll stick together. So it's kind of like reverse, which is nice. And it's such a lovely, lovely film. The plot, I think, is the fact that the plot is different to anything else really, really is great. The title sequence as well at the beginning is lovely because you've got just two minutes of a cartoon title sequence. The only thing that I've seen like that is like in Greece when you've got the cartoon bit there. Which, for the record, I'm not a fan of Greece, but never mind. So that is really nice and things. And you've got like I I don't know I can't describe the title sequence to you, but if you see the film, it's worth watching the title sequence. Don't fast forward in it, at least not the first time. If you buy it on DVD when it's out and things. And um, the cast as well is fantastic. You've got Jennifer Lopez who's playing Zoe. Now, I'd never seen her act. I didn't know what to expect, and I I just think she's fantastic. Like I said on IMDb, some people were like she can't act, but she can. Of course she can. Otherwise she wouldn't have got the role. Otherwise. So she's really, really definitely great for the part. Um, she also looks like a bit like Sammy S. Smith, um, who plays Maria in Coronation Street, for anybody who likes Corey. Uh, and in fact, there's certain times where she does like certain facial expression things where she looks exactly like Sammy. And I'm like, well, that's weird. Um, and then you have Alex O'Glockland, who plays Stan. And he is, yeah, he's gorgeous, completely. Great actor, looks fantastic. Definitely the right person for the role. Um, and the chemistry between them and the rapport on the screen they've got is just lovely. That is really, really nice. So that's definitely a good pairing there. I love that. Um, and then you've got Michaela Watkins who plays Mona, who is like Zoe's best friend. And she's just, she's that character where you've got the, main, you've got the leading lady and then she has a best friend who's a little bit weird. Now, I wouldn't say Mona's weird as such, but she's different. Like, she gets obsessed over a sample box of cheese, which is really great. Um, so that's really nice as well. Um, so the cast is all perfect, there's nothing wrong with the cast. It's directed by Alan Powell, who i never heard of, and I've just ch I just checked the list of things that he's done, and I've not heard of any of them, or if I've heard of them, I've not seen them or heard great things about them. I've not heard bad things about them either, but I've not heard enough about them to sort of promote them to me. So that was new, so hopefully I'll look out for more of his work. As far as the length goes, the film's, if I remember rightly, an hour and 45 minutes, which is about an average time for a rom-com film. And it is a great length. It didn't go by slowly. It didn't rush by either. So you've got a really good mix of things in there. So you're not going to be sitting twiddling your thumbs, but you're not going to come out of the cinema or whatever thinking, my God, that was quick, you know? And you do take everything in. There's enough time to sort of absorb all the information you need, but there's not a length of time there that drags on and on and you're thinking, just hurry up, you know? So it is a really, really great film. I don't know if I'm going to buy it on DVD when it's released. I probably will, because it is one that I would happily watch again. It's one that I recommend to everybody to watch as well. Like I said, I don't like paying money for things in the cinema and things, unless I know I'm going to like it. So if you're going to go into the cinema and you want to pay good money to go and see a film, go and see this one. You know, if you want to pay good money for a DVD, buy it. It is well worth the money. Um, saying that, I don't know how much the DVD will be when it's released, of course, but I'm assuming it won't be that expensive. So it's definitely worth going to see if you can. Obviously, if you're a fan of any of the cast members, it's worth going to see. Um, if, you're, if you think the plot sounds gripping, go and see it. The plot is definitely the thing that grabs my attention more so than anything else because it's just different to anything else. But it's definitely a great film in every realm and I love it completely. Um, feel free to leave comments and things with your thoughts. I'd love to know if you've seen it because so far I don't know anybody else, anybody else who has seen it. So that would be quite nice. Um, I think that's all I want to say about that. So I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.